Freedoms is sounding the alarm over Bill C-63. They say it's the most aggressive assault on free speech in modern Canadian history. Now to talk about this in more detail is the president of the Justice Center, John Carbier, joins us once again from Calgary. John, what's your biggest concern with this bill? Well, it's going to give powers to the Canadian Human Rights Commission to prosecute uh, Canadians uh, over non-criminal speech that is deemed to be hateful, which is incredibly subjective because hate, like beauty, is in the eye of the beholder. And if the uh, Canadian Human Rights Commission bureaucrats deem your speech to be hateful, uh, you can be subjected to a penalty of up to $50,000 payable to the federal government, plus an additional $20,000 payable to somebody who feels offended, and it's going to also allow for anonymous complaints uh, so that you don't have the right to face your accuser or ask questions of your accuser or even know who your accuser is. And uh, there's also going to be uh, expanded powers for uh, Prime Minister Trudeau and the uh, federal cabinet to make all kinds of new regulations to censor social media services. Uh, and there's even a provision for uh, preemptive punishment uh, in respect of something that somebody might say in future. Now, you feel that the Online Harms Act would enable thousands of, quote, woke activists to file human rights complaints against the speech of people they disagree with, John. So even if many of the complaints are dismissed, Canadians will still be forced to spend time, money, and energy on defending themselves? That's exactly it. Uh, it costs nothing to file a complaint, uh, and people on the receiving end of these complaints are going to have to spend you know, they're, they're going to have the process hanging over their heads for years, literally years, and will be spending tens of thousands of dollars on legal bills to defend themselves. Uh, or uh, they could just write a $5,000 check and apologize and get rid of it. But neither of those alternatives is good for free speech. It's going to have a big chilling effect where people are going to self-censor on various sensitive topics, you know, the immigration, Aboriginal policy, uh, transgender ideology, uh, parental rights. There's going to be a lot of issues where people are going to self-center uh, because they can get prosecuted for, for non-criminal speech that in somebody else's subjective opinion they might feel is, is uh, hateful. So, John, where does Bill C-63 stand right now? Well, past first reading, and so it's important for people to contact their federal member of parliament by phone, by email, urge them to vote against the Online uh, Harms Act, and people wanting more information about the bill, uh, that could be found at, on, on our website at uh, www.jccf.ca. John Carpe, President of the Justice Center for Constitutional Freedoms, thanks so much for joining us today from Calgary. Pleasure is mine.